There are endless ways to cook with beet stew, and I'm absolutely in the mood for some delicious, tender beef stew. I love cooking with beef because it's budget friendly and the outcome is always mouth watering. For this recipe, I'm going to be using some fresh ingredients which are going to add even more flavor to the beef stew. And also, I'm going to be using some mild and very aromatic spices. So the beef stew is just going to be amazing. You're going to get started by chopping up your beef into bite-sized pieces. Also, my beef stew is bone in. So the bone is going to add some more flavor to the beef stew. Using a sharp knife, you're going to chop up your beef. I love a good cut of meat that is less fatty. If you love fatty meat, you can add in some fat as well because fat equals to flavor. <laughs> When done chopping up your beef, you're going to transfer to a pressure cooker. I'm going to be boiling my meat until tender. So I'm going to transfer in my pressure cooker. Add in one cup of water. A beef stock cube. I'm going to remove the wrapper and transfer in. The beef stock cube is going to add some more flavor to the beef. So if you don't have the beef, beef stock cube, you can use some seasoning cubes. Cover. And boil my meat for around three whistles or boil until the meat is tender. Three whistles are enough if you're using a pressure cooker. And if you are boiling your meat in a pot, you're going to boil the meat until tender. So over high flame, I'm going to let the pressure cooker do its own magic. After three whistles, you're going to manually remove the pressure from the pressure cooker. And the meat is looking very good. It's tender and ready for the next step. I'm going to get started by making my sauce. So in a small bowl, you're going to add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce and one tablespoon light soy sauce. Add in a splash of water and stir to combine. Place an antique pan over medium flame. Add in one tablespoon of cooking oil. Spread the oil in the pan. Next, I'm going to add in one large onion. And because I've already prepped up all my ingredients, it's going to be very easy. Saute the onions until soft. That is going to take around a minute of a medium flame. And because I've already prepped up all my fresh ingredients, it's going to be very easy for me to finish up cooking this delicious beef stew. Check on your onions as they cook because we don't want the onions to burn. And to add in a very nice flavor to my beef stew, I'm going to be adding in some fresh garlic and ginger, which I've crushed into a paste. So I'm going to be using five cloves of garlic and a thumb-sized ginger. That's not a lot because we need more flavor for this beef stew. And because my onions are ready, I'm going to be adding in my garlic and ginger cook for around 30 seconds until the garlic and ginger is fragrant garlic and ginger cooks extremely fast so watch over your garlic because you don't want the garlic and ginger to burn so once everything is fragrant i'm going to be adding in carrots tomatoes Toss the carrots together with the tomatoes and the onions. And as the onions are cooking, I'm going to be adding in some black pepper, paprika, ground coriander. 
that in the spices. I have added in the carrots to cook together with the tomatoes because they take a while to cook. And also I've chopped up my carrots a little bit big. So I want the carrots to cook as the tomatoes cook down. Also, I've added in very mild spices to my beef stew. For example, the paprika is going to give us some color. The black pepper is going to give us a kick of spiciness. And the ground coriander is going to add in some mild flavor to the beef stew. You can add in a splash of water so that the tomatoes can fully cook through. Or if you notice that your pan is drying out and everything is going to burn, you can add in some water. When the tomatoes are fully cooked, I'm going to transfer back my beef into the pan. So using a slotted spoon, I'm going to scoop out and place in the pan. Stir in the meat into the sauce. And I'm also going to be adding in some beef stock to my pan. Bring, bring the flames to high and stir in the beef broth into the, the rest of the ingredients. And remember, I added in a stock cube while boiling my meat so the broth is salty. So I'm going to be adding in my sauce that I prepared earlier. Toss everything together. Everything is looking very perfect after three minutes. So I'm going to check on my pots and at this point I'm going to be adding in some assorted peppers over here. So I'm going to be adding in some red and green capsicum. If you also have some orange or yellow capsicum you can add in as well. And the capsicum is going to add in so much flavor to the beef stew. Cook for around a minute so that the capsicum can soften up. And lastly, I'm going to be garnishing with some coriander. Put the flames out and stir in the coriander. And wow. I'm loving all the vibrant colors in my beef stew. The beef is tender, soft, and has soaked in all those nice spices. And definitely this is a recipe worth trying. Serve up this delicious beef stew over some rice, mashed potatoes, chapati, or even ugali, and it's definitely going to be delicious. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll be trying out this easy, delicious, and healthy recipe.